Hey yo, what's Gucci with you dough? Caro Caro Studio finally back for a new Wi-Fi battle. It has been way too long, but I've been so busy with the batch quest plus exams that I did not have any time to record a Wi-Fi battle and narrate it. So anyway, I decided to switch it up for this Wi-Fi battle as I am doing an OU battle instead of a UU battle. Um, looking at the team preview, um, I'm using a really mismatched team, but I've been practicing with this team and it actually works very well for my playing style. So I have my Umbreon, you know what Umbreon does. I have a Choice Scarf Hydreigon, which usually does a lot of work, as Hydreigon's a beast, it has modest max special attack, and then Choice Scarf. Um, Conkledur, you already know. I switched out Payback with Ice Punch, because that helps me with Dragonite and Salamences and all that stuff. Um, Tyranitar starts off the Sandstorm and does whatever it can after that, usually Rock Polish and then Stone Edge. Um, Breloom is Breloom, it's a Tech Loom, Focus Ash, Spore that stuff, and Bullet Seed and all that crap. And then it's fine. I got that Landorosu. A Landorus with, um, it's choice banded, normal form, with Rock Slide, Stone as you turn and Earthquake. Now, before I continue, look at my opponent's team. My opponent's team is full of threats. It's full to the brim of big-ass threats. L look, Drizzle Politoed, Thunderous Therian, Multiscale Dragonite, Tornalus, Keldeo, Espeon, oh my god, I'm gonna faint. It's full of freaking big ass threats. I mean, three legendaries, a multi scale Dragonite, Drizzle Politoed, and Espeon all on the same team. Good game, I'm done. <laughs> no, I was kidding. Anyway, let's start the battle and see how well I can do or if I can win against these big ass threats. See you guys now. See ya. Bye. Getting into the battle right now. Let's go. Start it up. Here we go. I'm going to send out my Umbreon first turn, just because I want, I'm pretty sure he's going to send out his Drizzle Polytope first turn because he wants to get the rain up. I'm going to get a nice Toxic off on that thing, because I don't want Drizzle Polytope to be standing around this whole game. So he goes with the Focus Blast, I skillfully dodge that Focus Blast and go with the Toxic, so that's exactly what I wanted. Polytoad is now poisoned and that Toxic damage is going to rack up fast. I skillfully dodge another Focus Blast. Look at my Umbreon. Get that foul play off and look at the damage I'm doing. This Politoed doesn't know what's hitting it right now. So he fights with a Focus Blast and finally gets a hit. And then it only does about 60% of my damage because I'm a freaking Umbreon. Bitch! So anyway, after that, go with another foul play. Take it down to the red. Get my leftovers. I'm about 50% HP at the moment. About maybe 45 or so. And then take it down with the Toxic. So Umbreon just took out a Drizzle Politoed, and that's amazing. He sends out this Keldeo, and he overpredicts. He goes with the Surf instead of the Secret Sword, because he thinks I'm going to switch out and save my Umbreon. But I live with 10, and go with the Toxic, and get Toxic off on another one of his big threats, because I don't want his Keldeo being around all match, because if you can get a Toxic off or a Par Paralysis off on a Sweeper, then you are set. So anyway, he goes with another Surf, takes out Umbreon, but Umbreon did work. So that was an amazing battle for my Umbreon right there. Anyway, after the Toxic, I'm going to send him Juice, the Bluff, the Bullet Seed, make him switch out, because I know he's going to think I'm going to use the Bullet Seed. Anyway, he switches out, he goes with the Espeon, I go with a lower sweep actually, because I want to get whatever he's going to switch into with a lower speed status. So anyway, I lower his speed stat with the low sweep, do a decent chunk of damage to the low sweep with Espeon, and then I'm going to be able to revenge kill Espeon with the Bullet Seed, because he thought I was gonna, he was going to be faster because he's an Espeon, but I'm a Jolly Breloom. Get the critical hit on one of the Bullet Seeds, but it does not matter because two Bullet Seed hits, it would have taken out Espeon out anyway, or even if I got three or four or five. So anyway, right here, I should have stayed in and went with the Spore, because I do have the Focus Ash, but instead I go with, in with the Tyranitar, and that's bad, because for me, my Tyranitar Sandstorm is going to break my own Breloom's Focus Ash. So that was a bad play on my turn. He hits the Hurricane, even through the Sandstorm, so that makes up for the hacks he got earlier on in the game when he missed the Focus Blast. But anyway, he's smart. He switches out his Tornadas, goes back in with the Keldeo, and I'm going to go in the Rock Polish, because with after Rock Polish, my Tyranitar would be able to outspeed anything on his team. But unfortunately, his Keldeo seems to be Choice Scarfed. And usually Keldeos are Choice Specs or Life Orb, because they have a lot of speed anyway. But his Keldeo is Choice Scarfed, and right here, I have nothing to switch into a Keldeo that's Choice Scarf. So I'm going to have to send in something to basically be Death Fodder. And seeing how his team is pretty laced with uh, Flying types, I'm pretty sure my Hydreigon is the only thing I can really take for Death Fodder. So even my Choice Scarf um, Hydreigon cannot outspeed this Choice Scarf Keldeo. And from the range where he's at half, with, well actually he's like 30% like HP after Toxic and all that stuff, 
So I send in my Breloom, and I don't want to risk it with going with the low sweep again, so I end up just going with the safe bullet punch. He switches in to, to his Tornadus, and I have no counts for Tornadus at the moment. So that was a very good play for him. The bull, the Mach Punch still does a crap ton of damage. I figure since the Sandstorm's up, he might go with the Hurricane, he might miss, I can get it off the Spore. But unfortunately, he, had, he packs the Heat Wave for some reason, and he's able to take out my Breloom. But anyway, it's fine. I got there and a Rosu, so it doesn't even matter. He's going to switch out of his Tornadus and go with his Thunderous. And if anybody wants to explain to me why he would go into a Thunderous on Landorus, please, please tell me. I have no idea why he would send in Th Thunderous to Landorus. Like, really? That's a waste. So anyway, um, Rock Slide, that thing's gone. And I am Choice Band, so I'm still walking into the Rock Slide. He sends in his Tornadus and gets up the Rain Dance. And I really wasn't expecting Rain Dance because he has a Drizzle Polytone and people don't really um, keep Rain Dance and stuff like that on their teams in Sandstorm. But he packs Rain Dance. I don't know. I wasn't even thinking about why he'd go with Rain Dance there. But then I figured out that he can boost up his Kelio Sir and he can make sure that his um, Dragon Knight can get 100% off accuracy on its Hurricane, assuming that it is a uh, special attacking Dragon Knight. So I sent him my last Pokemon, which is my Conkleder. And I'm just going to finish up this Keldeo with the Mog Puncher. There's no reason for him to switch out his, Kel his Keldeo at the moment. And I'm at full HP. He's in his Dragonite. I have the Ice Punch. So he's going to go with the Hurricane. And if I can survive this Hurricane and get off the Ice Punch, that's going to be good game for me. But if I die from Hurricane, it's good game for him. And unfortunately, since I'm running Adamant and not Careful Nature, my um, Conqueror does go down. And that is the game. So, yeah, that's a pretty short match, but at the same time, I had a lot of fun with that match. It was pretty nice, and, you know, I thought it was a really fun match to play. So, anyway, if you like this battle, like, comment, subscribe. Um, I have 17 other battles or so on this channel, but only go check out the recent ones because the older ones kind of suck. So, anyway, I ha if you like this battle, go check out the other battles because you will love them just as much as you like this battle. Like, comment, subscribe, share it on um, battle websites and battle pages on Facebook and all that stuff. And if you want to have a battle with me, send, uh, message me your friend code. And uh, we will have a battle and maybe I can narrate it and we can put it up on my channel. So anyway, I will see you guys later. Hope you enjoyed. Peace.